Hey folks, hope you're doing good. Hope you're having a good week so far. Now, having a nice week on the channel, loads of submissions to get through. And one of my favorite bands has come through today with their latest one. This is their third single from their Find Yourself EP. And they say now they're now on Curtain Call Records. Now, I did just look through their Facebook page to see if there was any more information about that, kind of what's gone on with all of that. Uh, but I guess they've been signed up. So no longer unsigned showcase. Uh, that does actually throw quite a few people off. Some people who are in signed bands, but you know, with smaller labels, don't think they're welcome on this channel because it's classed as or it's called so i should say unsigned showcase it's not actually classed as unsigned showcase we have everyone on here signed or not uh, but now these guys are signed they're not in the unsigned category anyway the band's called controller i love these guys we've been following them for a number of years now nice to go into 2024 with something new from these guys trust in the process is the video let's get it on the screen and enjoy this one today It's on the drums. bits nice bass tone in there as well Superb. I thought this was absolutely great. Now, I want to just check out, I was reading before the, the, uh, I started the show, I was reading the comments on this video, uh, and there's someone's in here that said, that said uh, the timing issues in some parts um, were a bit weird. And then someone else said that down further down as well. I really love the song, but it almost feels like the vocals and the instruments don't fit together, as in the voices melody is trying to keep pace with the faster beat. Uh, the, the voice is lovely, blah, blah, blah. I didn't get that at all. I was kind of keeping an ear out after reading those comments to see whether that was going to happen with the vocal and the pacing and whether the, 
The instrumental and the vocal didn't seem like it was kind of pacing at the same thing, but I didn't get that at all. <laughs> so weird, you know, people listen, People, it, music is subjective and people hear their own things within the music and focusing on different areas and that makes you hear it in a different way and things like that. I tried to hear everything <clears throat> and you can hear everything in this. You, you can hear, ev you can put your ear, when you put your ear to the music, you can hear every member of the band when you do it. You know, you want to hear the bass, you can hear the bass. You want to hear the guitars, you can do that. And you can pick out all the different elements that make up the whole sound uh, and then kind of see the wood for the trees as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I didn't get any of that from this. I thought it flowed really nicely. Every section just went together nicely, dropped into it nicely, as it should, as you expect from these guys. But the vocal was right there all the time. I mean, it was, it was, kind, it was a bit back, like kind of kind of loose with it but it was on the beat it didn't feel like it was kind of trying to keep up pace didn't, didn't feel like the the drums were you know kind of more pacey and he was trying to keep up but couldn't it somehow uh so i didn't get any of what these guys said in the comments from it i really enjoyed it i thought the uh the drum in particularly was super great i mean the drummer in this band is an example to me of a drummer in a band that, you know, these guys are doing alternative metal and, and it, it is a, a kind of a vintage now, you could say, but it is a classic genre that's been gone through and, you know, all the, the, the ins and outs of it have been found. But these guys put their own stamp on it still by having great musicians in the band and particularly the drummer. I would say the drummer goes above and beyond what you would normally expect in this kind of music. All the nice little hi-hat bits, the ting on the ride, which I friggin' love, nice big rolls down the toms and stuff. And the, the drums and the rhythm from the drums is very much part of the music. A um, lot of drummers in alternative metal are just one twoers, you know, they're just stomping about, uh, keeping the beat and just doing the odd feel here and there. But the drums aren't musical, aren't creating riffiness within the riffs. Um, and that's what pushes this band above and beyond, in my opinion, takes them to the next level from the kind of standard run of the mill uh, stuff. I always say as well, I love the guy's uh, vocal tone and that makes all the difference in this kind of music as well, because you know it's a lead vocal, it's very important. And I just think this guy has got a great alt metal tone to go with the music as well. It sits in there really nice. They do a great job of recording it and adding the layers. And as well in this one, some screaming and almost gutturally kind of growls in there. Uh, very nice. I like to hear it. All different stuff going on in the music. So very, very good. But yeah, I was I was interested to, after reading the comments, to think, man, are these, you know, is this one kind of not worked out quite as well as they hoped? Um, and they were very diplomatic and said, thanks for listening and stuff to the people who made those comments. Uh, but I disagree with them. I don't get that at all. <laughs> like, I would say if I did as well. Um, but no, I thought it was super great. There was nothing that caught my ear that I thought, oh, no, that doesn't sound right. Or that was at a you know, out of time with the rest of the music or something like that. Oh, one thing I want to mention as well on this one, the this, this symphonic violins and atmospheric edge, I thought was great. Some other guy said in the comments that he thought the chorus was a bit thin, although he was listening on his, on his phone uh, and everything comes out thin on your phone. But I thought the chorus actually was very layered. We had the heavy guitar come in, but it wasn't all just heavy guitar to make the chorus. There was still a massive atmospheric, symphonic violins and, you know, a kind of big sound coming into the chorus as well at that point. So I thought, the, again, I didn't agree with that. I thought the chorus was nice and big, sounded, I mean, I got it nice and loud on good headphones. Maybe that makes a big difference. And, and you do have to kind of compensate somewhat now, or at least bear in mind that people are listening to your music on phones and just through the speaker on the phone as well, not even with headphones on phones. Um, and maybe, you know, maybe you do want to think about adding more bass just in general, because that's a thing nowadays. Mixers will have to consider that to a point and, you know, listen to their mix on phones to see if it just sounds too thin on a phone. Uh, but I didn't get any of these comments on that from listening on these good headphones nice and loud. It sounded great, massive sound, lots of layers to listen to, uh, lots of things going on in the drums and stuff as well. So I enjoyed it very, very much. That's it from me today. I hope you're having a good week so far. We've got another two bands coming up. Um, I think one of them we've seen before, but the one on Friday is a new band to the channel. Uh, so that'll be dope. And we'll see you when we see you next. Hope you're having a good one so far. Cheers. Bye.